Hi everyone, Sail from Quick Note here. In this short video, we will see how we can make React frontends with Wagme library. So without any ado, let's jump into it. Wagme is an open source developer tool which has React hooks for interacting with wallets, smart contracts, and transactions over EVM-based networks. Because it has React hooks, it helps you track changes over wallets, blocks, and networks. It also has inbuilt wallet connectors for popular Web3 wallets like MetaMask, Wallet Connect, etc., which supports the Ethereum Web3 API. So now let's see how we can make a React frontend with Wagme. So first of all, we will need to install the Create React App dependency and then do npx create react app then create a library or directory called like me demo okay once that's done go to your like me demo directory and install the wagme library and we will use a flag called legacy peer tips so this flag legacy peer tips what it does is it ignores the peer dependencies for that particular package to be installed and uh, it installs the package anyways without the peer dependencies as it was done in npm version 4 or npm version 6. what this does is it prevents the peer dependencies version conflicts so that's why we have used it so now that we have the wagme library installed and the react app created we will open the code base it will look something like this let me enlarge this a bit so it's visible all right so what we'll do is we'll go to src folder and app.js folder we will replace this code with this code and over here what we are doing is let's save this file first all right so over here what we are doing is we are importing few components objects and webhooks we will be using in our code and then we are importing the wallet connector using which we will tell our front end or code to connect with a external wallet like metamask using the web3 api and then we are importing a json rpc connector and then the bootstrap so before doing this let's uh, also install bootstrap bootstrap is a css library which lets you make front ends easily All right, so our bootstrap is installed. And then what we are doing is we are initializing a configure chains object, which is used to connect with a mentioned blockchain. We are mentioning mainnet over here, but any other side chains or layer two or test nets can be mentioned to connect Wagme with that particular chain. So mainnet just means Ethereum mainnet. And then we are initializing a JSON RPC provider, which lets you connect to a external RPC provider and then the RPC object and then providing the actual RPC URL over here. So we are using Quicknode RPC. You can get a Quicknode RPC by going to quicknode.com and then creating an account, verifying your email address and then choosing a plan and then create a RPC so i already have an account you can also create a free account and uh, create a ethereum mainnet rpc so as you can see in my account i have this ethereum mainnet rpc so i'll just copy the https url and then i have pasted it already over here so your rpc's https url will go into the http object over here just like this and then we are initializing the create config object which is a object for 
like me client the public client over here and with that we will be we will be mentioning the connectors which is injected connector stands for the injected wallet and then we are initializing a function called profile the profile function will be used to handle wallet interactions in which we are using webhooks like use account then use connect use disconnect use balance using which one can interact with wallet of the connected user and then we are getting the address so we are making sure that if the address is present then show the connected address show the balance of the connected address and then the chain id of the connected address or the wallet's network so we are putting all of that into some html and uh, basic css as you can see over here and that's why we used bootstrap for and then we are mentioning a loading message so if the app is still connecting the wallet it will show this text and there we are also mentioning a button because we will need a button which needs to be clicked so the app can collect to our wallet and then there is an app function which has wagme config so wagme config make sure that the config is available to the profile function which handles the wallet interaction and then we are using export default app which is our react app so now let's start our react app by typing npm start in terminal so this will start the react server and open our app in a new tab on the browser so as we can see our app is loaded so now let's try to click on connect wallet it should open up the wallet to ask for signing permissions or uh, permission to connect to the website so let's give it the permission so as you can see we have the connected wallet the balance of the wallet and then the chain id of the wallet or the network we are using so this is how you can create a react front end for your wagme applications this was just a very simple basic demonstration of how you can create the front ends but you can create or modify the app.js app and create your complex applications using react wagme and quicknote so if you learned anything from this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the quicknote youtube channel for more such videos and let us know in the comment section what new topics you'd like us to cover thank you everyone